Hi guys, good morning. Good morning, welcome. Kamusta, kamusta? Yeah, so... Good evening guys, no? Good evening. Good evening, Miss Susan. Uh, si Nelson, nandiyan na, no? Hi, Miss Lorna. From Laguna yata. Si Edwin. So, post lang kayo guys kung narinig nyo ako. Kung uh, tagasan kayo, kung saan kayo nanonood ngayon. Post lang kayo sa comment section. Tapos, pakipasuan na rin, no? Pakipasuan na rin. <laughs> Tapos, ano, uh, share nyo na rin, no? Para mas marami pa tayong ma-bless. Again, ang objective natin is to bless. No? It's to, to share, to teach other people, and to learn from each other, help each other. So, please do share this video. Okay? Yes. Who is si JV from Las Piñas? Okay? Las Piñas din ako, Sir JV, no? And, uh, Okay. Yan, okay. Kailan ang share ko lang din. Okay, good evening guys. Good evening. So share niyo lang 'to. Share niyo lang 'tong video para mas marami pa tayong ma-bless. Marami pa tayong uh, kumbaga ma Yan. Share the blessings lang tayo. So Good evening from CEDO, si Sir Ruel, si Ronaline from Laguna, si Maricel from QC. Wow, yung mga OFW, kamusta po? So, laging maraming nanonood sa atin ng mga OFWs, no? So, just came from Macau and sobrang uh, daming OFWs po doon, no? And listening to their stories, siguro, uh, share lang din natin mamaya, okay? Si Jordan... Si Joven from QC. Uh, good evening. Si Dante from uh, Laguna again. Okay. So, si Ray from QC. So, kumusta guys? So, um, top chat ngayon is about no, creating, uh, kumbaga, ang dami nagtatanong kasi sa atin, uh, wala, hindi sapat yung income ko, hindi sapat yung, kumbaga, cash flow ko, no? So, Um, ano ba? Ano ba yung mga iba't ibang ways no para magkaroon tayo ng additional income? Okay? So nadinig niyo naman ako no. Um, yan. Okay. So ano lang um, type niyo lang yung mga questions diyan sa sa sasagutin natin. If you have uh, anything biglang may question kayong gusto itanong, i-type lang sa sasagutin natin. Okay? So guys, thank you again for uh, congratulations for taking time. and investing in yourself, no? investing in learnings, and instead of you guys na manood ng mga kung ano-ano, nandito kayo at nanonood sa atin, and para ning matuto. No? So this is our weekly program, no? weekly show natin, na it's about you know, um, finances, entrepreneurship, e-commerce, uh, side hustles, kung ano pa yan. Uh, ito lang, gusto ko lang i-share, or gusto ko lang i-share kung ano yung mga natutunan natin para makatulong pa tayo sa mga... ating mga viewers sa mga ating mga kapwa Pilipinas. Especially, again, for our OFW family there. And last week, di ba, ang topic natin is about stock market and mutual fund investing. Okay? So, marami, marami nag-message sa atin na, uh, yes, okay, madali, pero minsan hindi talaga sapat no, yung income natin. No? Or hindi sapat na pang-invest. Wala tayong, wala na matira eh. So, ano pang invest natin? So, uh, actually, the, the, the concept to this is, you know, um, ano lang, um, kasi, to tell you frankly, no, comparing it sa school, no, yung pag invest kasi, parang ano na yun eh, parang college na yan, di ba? So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kasi, syempre, yung pagiging prep mo, dapat, alam mo na yung may emergency fund ka na, yung grade school mo, dapat, meron ka ng basic uh, kahit protection, life insurance, yung mga asset protection mo, yung mga car insurance mo, Tapos yung high school mo, syempre, nandiyan yung mga, uh, na meron ka ng mga uh, small financial plans, no? So, college kasi medyo investing na yan, eh. So, medyo high level na yan in terms of our, uh, kumbaga, leveling, no? So, ladder natin na rin financial life. So, and of course, isa sa mga, isa mga module, kumbaga, isa mga kailangan gawin, no? In your step before investing talaga. Is somehow have a stable cash flow. At the same time, dapat, ini-increase mo na yung income mo para magkaroon pa ng excess, para mag, mas madali kang maka-invest, no? Mas madali kang mag, uh, magkaroon ng uh, uh, budget for your business, no? Para makapag... Sama, 
gusto mo na talaga makauwi pag OFW ka or gusto mo na mga pag-resign from your work, no? So, ganun lang naman. Okay? So, um, ano lang natin is, yan, from Paris, si Miss Gosselin. Okay? Si Rosemary nandiyan. Hi, guys. Yan. Okay, so, pusuan nyo nga. Uh, pusuan nyo nga itong video na to para lang ma- maramdaman ko na nandiyan kayo. So, at the same time, Ash, please do share this video then. Yan, share nyo para mas marami pa tayo mag-bless, especially sa mga friends yun na OFWs. No? Uh, share nyo lang dyan. Okay? Yan, so, puso lang. Thank you. Okay? So, um, before we start, I just want to answer some questions no? dito sa mga message nyo. And this is from Arnold sa, from Quezon City. Sabi niya, where can low earners invest their money? I had attended financial planning seminar that suggests a small amount as they say. But in the long run, it's, it's impossible for low earners or em- employees with minimum salary to invest, especially when they don't have a stable job. For example, my daughter is planning to involve in that retirement investment rather when she obtained a work, but suddenly after a year, she resigned from work because of some inconveniences. Inconveniences, rather, in the company. And after many months, she did not obtain any job. Her investment will be cut off and her previous contribution investment is forfeited for not paying the contribution for the succeeding months. Even though the provider told it that it can be restated, still a loss that made us despair. Um, hi, Sir Arnold. No? So, ang ganda ng question nyo. No? Uh, gusto ko siya sagutin kasi uh, ang daming... Um, Maraming mga ganito sitwasyon no, na, na naririnig ko. And of course, um, iba nagtatanong din about the situations. No, no. Inya, ah, maliit lang sweldo mo, tapos biglang nawalan ka, na, so, so, na, na ka ng trabaho, paano mo pa ikukontinue yung, yung investment mo? Tapos sabi niyo po dito, uh, parang na-cut off na siya and na-forfeit na investment niya. So let me clarify mm-hmm. on those things. Ah. Um, uh, first po, uh, for low earners, Sabi mo, yung unang question nyo, where can low earners invest their money? Of course, uh, low earners can invest their money in the time deposits, no? in savings account. Of course, pag nabuild mo na yon, pag gusto mo na mag-grow yung pera mo and meron ka ng enough emergency fund, so dapat sa ano ka na, sa stock market. So pwede na po, kahit low earners ka, you can sa mo invest kahit minimum wage po. Kaya po yun, 1,000 a month, 500 a month. I, I think uh, to open is around 1,000 and to add 1,000 naman. So, that's 33 pesos. So, I think kaya na po yun for low earners, uh, low income earners, yung mga uh, basic salary, minimum salary. No? And, sabi niyo po kanina, yung second question niyo. So, that's the first, no? yun yung sagot ko. So, you can, again, you can invest in saving, time deposit, uh, mutual funds. no. So, you can start as low as 500, I think. no. Tapos, additional 500 or 1,000 naman. So, kaya-kaya po yan. Again, that's 33 pesos a day. And, ang second question niyo, um, like yung sa daughter nyo na, dahil nawalan siya ng trabaho nag-stop yung contribution niya na forfeit yung investment niya uh, I think this is not an investment for sale like mutual fund and stock market it, siguro insurance po ito na isang package kaya ako po um, hindi ko po ina-advise na ganitong klaseng investment yung kulin nyo kasi nga, yun nga, nag-forfeit siya tapos uh, lugi talaga minsan no? so uh, Kasi kung stock market po yan, it will never be forfeited. Kasi kung nandun yung investment mo sa stock market, sa mutual fund, hindi po siya na forfeit. No? It will grow with the market or bumaba with the market, but it will never be forfeited. If it's an investment, in, 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 kung investment siya sa stock market or sa mutual fund, so hindi po siya na forfeit. So siguro po itong in-invest ng anak nyo is insurance na na forfeit. So kaya ako, hindi ako... Ayoko po nung ganitong, hindi ko sinasuggest yung mga investment. No? So yun nga, na full for fee, tapos um, nalulugit. Talagang laki nung kinakartas because of commissions and everything. No? So, so ako kung ganun, get, get a term insurance, renewable every year, hindi na full for fee yun. Uh, and of course, yun nga, invest, invest ka na lang diretso sa mutual fund or stock market. So that's my advice. Okay? So, sige, kung may mga questions kayo dyan, uh, ano yun lang. Okay, uh, so sagot pa tayo isang question dito before we go sa topic natin. So sabi dito, what made you decide to quit your corporate job and focus on your current business and who wrote your ebook regarding financial literacy? So sabi ni Edison from Cavite. So ako, um, of course, um, 
medyo, that time marami ako consider na factor before I quit my job no, in 2000, uh, 2015. No, Nag-quit uh, ako sa job ko. And I started, yung corporate job ako talaga, pumasok ako sa corporate 2007. And after yun, yeah, eight years, almost eight years, seven years, nag-quit na ako from my job. And um, what made me decide? Because um, I want to pursue my passion. I want to start a business. I want to, like this, no, spread financial literacy. I want to try out things. Um, mas nag enjoy ako sa having, uh, running my own time, um, having my own business. So, yun yung nag-ano sa akin. Nag, 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 uh, nag uh, decide sa akin na mag-quit ng corporate job. Of course, it's not easy, no. Especially for uh, coming from a stable, uh, very good job, na very com well-compensated job na maganda yung mga bonuses, maganda yung retirement packages. So, ang laki yung sinacrifice talaga just to, you know, uh, pa follow my passion, follow my uh, happiness talaga. And at the end of the day, diba, it's not about the money rin. Eh. Um, and I believe na if you really enjoy what you're doing, if you're, kumbaga, talagang gusto mo siyang gawin, magiging successful ka rin. The money will follow, kumbaga. So, yun, yun yung naging, uh, kahit na maganda yung trabaho ko nun, um, okay naman siya. So, very, very, kumbaga, maraming gustong pumasok doon sa, yun, sa mga, sa, doon yun, sa sarabaho ko na yun. But, I chose it because, yun, yeah, um, I want to have my own time, run my own businesses. So, at the same time, syempre, marami akong factors sa consumer, they're like, um, of course, I have to tell my partner na I will not have a stable income, no, sa simula talaga, kasi nga, magre-resign ako. Actually, um, Nakaplano talaga yun, no? So, nung nag-resign ako kasi, meron na akong mga uh, side hassles, no? Yun yung mga i-discuss ko sa inyo mamaya. Side hassles na ginagawa. So, before ako mag-resign, hindi naman yun. Pag nag-resign ako, wala na akong income. So, nag-start talaga ako before, siguro, uh, two to three years before ako mag-resign, no? Nag-meron na ako ng mga side income, no? So, dumating sa point kasi na nag-equal na yung side hassles ko, yung mga side income ko, pareho na siya nung tinatanggap ko dun sa corporate job ko. So, mas medyo mas madali yung naging uh, decision ko na to, to quit my job. No? So, that's my, ano, that's my suggestion din sa'yo. No? Na if you are planning to quit your job, siguro, tapos you have to consider if you have, uh, of course, if you have children, if you have children, no? so, baka, syempre, hindi naman pwede mag-resign ka kahit kasi gusto mo lang. No? You have to consider um, sino mong papakain sa kanila. So, ako kasi, noong 2015, wala pa akong anak noon. No? So, tapos yung, I have to talk to my partner, no? yung wife ko ngayon, na, na before kasi hindi pa kami kasal noon. So, sabi ko, uh, I want to risk this. No? So, may enough emergency fund naman ako. And at the same time, mayroon mga side hustles na nga ako, mga extra income na ako at the side na pwede mag-sustain sa akin. So, malakas yung ko. At the same time, yun nga, supporta niya. No? Supporta ng partner ko. So, ganun yung maging, naging mga considerations ko. So, sa e-book naman, ako, uh, nagpatulong ako sa friend ko na sumulat ng e-book ko about financial literacy. So, yun yung naging, yun yung mga pinamimigay ko. Okay? So, nandiyan kayo lahat. So, batiin lang natin. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Uh, si Elena, si DJ. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. So, ang dami na nanonood ngayon. Almost 100. So, again, just uh, pag na panood mo to, just heart sign dyan. No? Mag-heart sign ka. No? Tapos, uh, share nyo lang itong video na to para mas marami pa tayo mag-bless. And, of course, so, yan. Start na tayo. I answer some questions later. So, some questions later. Tapos, type lang kayo dyan ng mga questions nyo. Okay? So, para... Yeah. Okay. Si Epi, uh, investing in mutual fund, uh, last, balikan mo yung page ko na to. No? Like niyo yung page ko, tapos balikan niyo yung mga videos ko. So, may topic tayo doon about uh, mutual fund and stock market investing. Okay? Ganun din kay Shane Lor. No? Nandun po, balikan niyo lang yung mga previous video natin. So, ang topic kasi natin ngayon is about um, creating side hustles. So, yun yung mga ginawa ko to, for me, um, para mag makapag-quit ako sa job ko. And of course, I'm, I'm not encouraging, hindi naman lahat kailangan dapat mag-quit, di ba? So, kung if you love your job, okay lang dyan. Ako kasi nga, mas gusto ko yung 
may sarili akong negosyo. But again, you can be successful naman. Kasi ako, gusto ko maging entrepreneur, di ba? Yung iba, pwede maging successful being an intrapreneur. Yung mga employees na mga galing, they love the jobs, may successful sila doon. So again, it's not, it's not about the money, lahat yung factors na i-consider mo, di ba? If you really love what you're doing, okay lang yan. Stay there to your co- company, um, be the best employee, no, uh, magpapromote ka in everything. Okay? Yan. So, again, thank you. So, almost 100 na tayo. Thank you, ha, sa mga live na nanonood dyan. And if you're watching uh, via replay, no? So, kamusta din sa inyo dyan? Type lang kayo dyan. So, binabasa ko yan kahit replay na yung mapapanood nyo ngayon. Binabasa ko yan. Okay. So, ano ba yung mga alam natin na mga side hustle? So, yun yung topic natin for today. It's about side hustles. So, ano ba yung mga side hustles na pwede mong gawin while having a corporate job? No? So, or uh, if you have a business, ano ba yung mga pwede mong gawin na, na magkaroon ka ng extra income? So, syempre, to boost your... Uh, of course, our objective is to boost cash flow is king. Ganun naman lagi na sinasabi natin. So, cash flow is king means na mag-i-increase yung income mo. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? If you increase your income, more options for you, more uh, money to invest... Uh, options in in the sense na you can start other businesses no you can you can start other investments real estate nya yeah, businesses capital for you know uh, pwede ka magpa uh, mag joint venture nung maraming options talaga if you have if you increase your cash flow so so what are the ano yung mga ginawa ko ako at experience ko nung time na yon nung corporate ako na di ba ano yan di ba 8 to 5 job so what I do is after office, no, may mga uh, nag MLM ako, so masumali ako sa mga multi-level marketing, but hindi ako masyado naging successful doon, no. So I joined uh, multi-level marketing, sumatin ako ng mga seminars after office, pag Saturday, um, uh, pag Saturday, umatin ako ng mga, yeah, mga meeting, di ba, mga business presentation, so yun yung mga ginawa ako that time. But of course, it helped me naman to earn third money, but uh, hindi ako naging successful doon. But again, hindi porket naging successful ako, hindi pwede maging successful sa'yo. Kasi again, um, what what I want to for you to take home no, in this episode is you have to know who you are. You have to be self-aware kung ano yung strength mo, kung ano yung kainaan mo, kung ano yung para sa'yo. Yung naging uh, para sa akin, no, yung naging successful ako, hindi necessarily dapat gayahin mo or kung ano yung mga ginawa kong sideline nun, hindi necessary dapat um, yun din yung gawin mo. Kasi nga, again, ang dapat i-take home mo for tonight is you have to be self-aware. You have to know yourself kung saan ka magiging successful. ba So, ako ginawa ko nun, nag-try ako, nag-try. Sabi ko nga, nag-multi-level marketing ako. And I'm good with MLM. No? Huwag lang yung, syempre, yung alam natin yung mga scam ngayon. No? Huwag lang ganun. Uh, second, Siyempre, dapat legal yan. Second is, you know, you should love your product. No, you should love your product. You're the believer product. You're not just joining. Yun yung tip ko. If you're going to MLM, um, kung gusto mo yung product, go for it. Do the business. Okay? So, hindi lang porket na because of the compensation, because of the mga rewards, but mo ginagawa yung MLM na yun? Okay? Um... Yan. So, hindi mo, hindi mo kasi alam eh. Uh, so, sabi dito ni Ruby, um, ang hirap mag-isip kung saan ka magiging successful. Yeah. No? So, hindi mo masasabi. Ako rin. Hindi ko masabi nun kung ano. Going back no, sa mga natry ko, no? Hindi ko naman, nag- hindi ko naman ano eh. Uh, hindi ko naman nasabi na magiging successful ako doon. So, what I did is I, I tried. No? At the end of the day, no? The real secret, no, in kami, what we're doing right now, e-commerce business, online selling, what we're doing right now, yung mga Facebook ads, yung mga small businesses, business concepts. At the end of the day, the secret there is trying, no? You have to test. You have to test. You have to try. No? Paano mo malalaman na isang bagay is para sa'yo? Paano mo malalaman na itong produkto na to is bibili ng masa or bibili ng merkado? Paano mo malalaman yung kung business sa to is mag-work sa lugar na to? So, like yung sinasabi, you have to test. You have to test mo. Kahit paunti-unti. What we're doing, yun yan, Facebook ads kami ng mga 
products mo is we do testing. So nagte-test kami para malaman namin kung anong product yung bibenta, di ba? So ganun din mas suggest ko kasi sabi dito um paano malalaman, di ba, na na para sa iyo, di ba? Uh, kung saan ka magiging successful, you have to try with a monthly limit and hopefully hopefully praying praying na few trials makuha mo yung gusto mo maging successful ka sa mga bagay na yun and then from there you focus on you 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 scale diba you scale hard you grow hard in that field kung nakita mong effective na yun like what again like what we're doing sa e-commerce like what we're doing in Facebook marketing. Pag nakita namin na itong markado na to, itong produkto na to is very, very good. Na, kung baga, nakita namin yung sweet spot, no? uh, by doing small testings, no? makikita natin yan. So, natalo kami sa ibang aspeto kasi nagtetest kami, but pag may nakita kami isang bagay, isang produkto, or isang market na talagang bibili, doon kami nag scale doon kami kumikita. So, sa simula, talagang matatalo kayo. You have to test this, you have to test this market, you have to test this product, you have to test this business. So, talagang matatalo ka. Diba? Pero at the end of the day, pag nakita mo yung product na yun, nakita mo yung business na yun na nag-work para sa'yo, you scale hard, you go hard, you focus on that. Doon ka na makakabawi. Doon ka na kikita ng kikita. Okay? So, ganun doon. So, what uh, what I'm giving you, uh, what I'm giving you sa inyo is mga options, no? Na, yung ginawa ko before, and then nakita ko kung ano yung nag-work sa akin. And ganun din sa'yo. So, you have to try what are... Pero syempre, you have to try, you have to test no, or try businesses, side hustle, side incomes na intelligently, no? Na hindi yung kung ano-ano lang ginagawa mo. Of course, you have to think then kasi you have limited time, no? You have limited resources. You have to think kung ano yung mga gusto mong try. Syempre, sa mo dapat align din sa gusto mo. No? So, you have to trim down kung ano yung mga businesses, kung ano yung mga side hustles na itatry mo. So, what I'm giving you, kung ano yung discuss natin ngayon, is some of the options, no? So, some of the options na pwede mong gawin. No? Natinignay ko din. No? So, like, uh, yun nga, sabi ko nga, MLM, it didn't work for me, but for others, nag-work siya. Di ba? So, may mga office mates ako na... Uh, na naging successful sila sa MLM. So, happy for them. But again hindi siya naging nag-work sa akin before, no? And, um, so what are, yan, uh, copywriting, no? Pwede kang mag-side hustles, magsulat ka. If you're good into writing, maybe copywriting for you. Ang, may mga kaibigan ako, may mga clients sila na mga foreigners na gumagawa ng mga sales page, sales letter, six digits, seven digits yung bayaran. Sobrang laki. Sobrang laki ng bayad for copywriters, no? So, so yun, pwede mong gawin yun as a sideline, susulat ka lang naman di ba? Um, those are copywriters, di ba? pwede ka maging freelancing no? pwede ka mag-freelance as a virtual assistant no? as a kung magaling ka sa Photoshop no? uh, kung pag VA naman, di ba? yung mga VA nag-handle ng mga, uh, mga pages, Facebook pages no? hanap ka ng mga kaibigan mong hindi marunong nun no hanap ka ng mga kaibigan mo na hindi marunong mag Facebook page na pwede kang maggawa mag uh, gawa ng Facebook page mag manage ng Facebook page para sa kanila no just virtual assistant or parang freelancing work di ba so pwede mong gawin yun no so maraming options actually to earn din and then of course um, if you're good into Photoshop no if you're good into video editing pwede mong gawin din yun di ba so um, like uh, ako meron akong kaibigan na uh, per project, 1,000. Per poster yung ginagawa niya, 1, 5, 2,000. So, kumakita siya at the side because marunong siya mag-photoshop. Ganun din, video editing, di ba? So, pwede mo rin gawin yun. So, those are the options. No? Since ako, hindi ako marunong mag-photoshop at mag-video mag, uh, edit. So, pinapagawa ko yan. So, hindi ko naging sideline yan. Pero ito, yung, ito nga, kinikwento ko sa inyo. Ito yung mga, pwedeng, mga possible ba na makita niyo na pwede niyo gawing sideline. Okay. So, again, virtual assistant, pwede yun. Pwede kayo maging uh, punta kayo sa Upwork, di ba? Yung mga ganyan. Um, tignan nyo kung ano yung mga... May, if you have spare time, especially for uh, yung mga nasa bahay lang, yung mga mother, yung mga nagbabantay lang, baka pwede nyo gawin yung freelancing. Okay? Or, uh, of course, virtual assistant. Okay? So, pwede nyo gawin yan. 
And of course, um, may mga kaibigan din ako nagbabay and sell ng kotse. No? So, bibili sila ng mga second-hand cars, tapos paayos lang na onte, if you flip. Or flip means bibenta rin agad sa iba. So, via Facebook, no? via their, uh, mga Facebook group. So, ginagawa nila yan. Okay? So, ang dami, maraming options talaga to earn additional income. Of course, if you are, if you are, if you like yung mga ganito, mag-content, gawa ka ng mga content, so you can be blogging, di ba? You can earn from ads, you can earn from sponsorships, and etc. So, marami, real estate naman, um, pwede ka mag-refer, di ba? Pwede ka maging ehente, pwede ka maging broker, no? you, can, you can sell sa social media ngayon, napakadali na magbenta. Di ba? You can do that, eh. Maraming, um, option po talaga na if you really want to earn no so that's real estate okay and of course you can earn again from your hobbies no so pwede kang kumahilig ka sa laruan kumahilig ka sa ginagawa mo or you could find some way to monetize your passion it's either as simple as unboxing a video baka pwedeng makasumikat ka di ba or pwedeng magflip ka ng mga collectibles so, mga toys mo. So, depende. Or if you're into photography, di ba? Baka pwede bang, like, may kaibigan ako na mahilig siyang mag, uh, sa, sa mga photography, no? So, ngayon, hindi na ginegosyo niya. Naging side hustle niya. She were, she, nagtatrabaho siya sa umaga. Tapos, uh, pag weekend, no? Um, meron siyang mga equipments na mga, yung, sa hobby niya. Kasi mga picture, di ba? So, ngayon, pwede nagpapahaya na siya to do yung mga, yun niya, mga photo, photo shoots, no? And, Yung ba pa mga birthday, mga binyag, yun yung ginagawa niya. So, pwede yung gawin yun. So, maraming options, guys. So, um, ang hirap lang kasi ngayon, no? um, maraming temptation. Netflix, maraming mga movies, uh, mga sine. So, you have to decide at one point if you really want to earn additional income. So, yun yung ano eh. Yun yung kalaban talaga eh. It's not... The resources are there, no? Yung mga tao magtuturo sa iyo about freelancing, about virtual assistant, about anything, about business, about franchising, about e-commerce, uh, about affiliate marketing, digital product. So, you can you can do, do everything that madali lang 'yun eh. Nandiyan yung mga magtuturo. Sa amin nila show, 'di ba? If the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So, Ganun lang, um, ang kalaban talaga dito is your dedication, yung mga temptation na, na katulad niyan, kayo nanonood kayo ngayon, is I congratulate you because marami pinili mag-Netflix, no? uh, pinili, pinili manood ng movie. It's because okay na sila. So, yung sabi ko nga, okay lang naman yun. No? If, you, if you love watching Netflix, if you wa- love going out, if you, if, you la- if you love chilling out, okay lang yun sa akin. Basta at the end of the day, huwag kang magkocomplain sa buhay mo. Huwag kang magko-complain na ganyan lang yung buhay mo na you're, you're aiming to have a, be, uh, a comfortable life for your family. Pero at the end of the day, pag may free time ka, anong ginagawa mo? Nag-Netflix ka, nangat kang TV, kung ano anong ginagawa mo, nag-mobile games ka. So, di ba? Huwag kang, huwag kang mag-complain kung, kung ganun, di ba? So, Okay lang yan, okay lang yan. But, yun nga, huwag ka mag-complain sa sisiyem yung gobyerno, sisiyem mo kung sino-sino yung pamilya mo, yung asawa mo, na wala, ba't ganyan yung buhay mo, no? So, that's the first step. You have to take control, responsibility, 100% responsibility of your destiny, no? Kung ano ka sa ngayon, kung, ano ka, kung nasan ka ngayon, it's because of your choices you made in the past, no? Kung, hindi, kung ano yung choices mo gagawin, from now on, today, right now, in the coming few days, no, it will determine your future. Ganun lang naman yan eh. Kung nasan ka ngayon, it's because of your choices in the future. Okay? So, if you chose to watch a movie, Netflix, rather than, you know, studying about e-commerce, is talking about um, another side business, no? Ilan naman yan. It's your choice eh. So again, at the end of the day, okay lang yun sa akin kung ano nga gawin mo. Pero huwag kang magireklamo sa buhay mo. Okay? Kasi minsan, I have no people na yung mga successful talaga is to don't complain. It's because alam nila kaya nilang gawin, may, kaya nilang may gawin something no, to turn around situations. Okay? So, 
Hi guys, sa so mga bago dyan, uh, magandang gabi ulit sa inyo. So again, if you have any questions there, just put it sa comment section yung sasagutin natin. So again, just to review lang, so ano yung mga sinabi natin na pwede mo maging side hustles, even if it's still, if it, eh, even if you're still working. No? So again, yung mga, uh, you can be a freelancing, copywriting, virtual assistant. So again, if you're hobby, photography, video, uh, pwede rin yan. But of course, you have to, Diba? Be good at it. Okay? So, um, again, MLM, if you want to, you can try that out. Um, you can be agent, no? Yung mga agent ng mga sa kotse, sa real estate, no? Pwede rin yun. Okay? So, again, you can profit from your hobbies. You can start a small business, no? You can have, let's say, if you have a friend na walang ginagawa or may kamag-anak ka, baka pwede mong start kayo na isang malit na business, either franchising or or any business na pwede nyo start to have a side income. Okay? So, and of course, what are the options pa? Oh, ito, ito yung mga ginawa ko. No? Ito yung mga ginawa ko. Nung nagkatrabaho ko, I started affiliate marketing. So, I started blogging about personal finance. So, yung Pinoy financial planning ko. So, yun yung ginawa ko. And then from there, no, nag-build ako ng income. No, nag, uh, again, sabi ko nga kanya, nag-MLM ako noon. Tapos, nag-ahente ako. No, tapos nag-affiliate marketing ako. So, na nag-affiliate ako, one of the affiliate na pinromote ko is in Truly Rich Lab, is part na ako ngayon no? ni Brother Bo Sanchez. So, affiliate marketing, tapos I sold digital products, ebooks, courses and everything. And from there, no, nag-start ako ng mga small businesses, crispy pata, t-shirt business, um accounting for because I'm a CPA, no? So yung start ako pa sa isa. And one one core business, a uh, one core secret din na share ko sa inyo is you, you have to have system, no? System and good partners. So importante magkano ka ng, ng ng partner mo na na you you really trust, no? And dapat clear guidelines din talaga yung mga yung mga trabaho nyo, yung mga ganito ganyan. So it's very important. Okay? So yun yung nag start ako noon in 2015 yan, nakapag-resign na ako. It's because I'm earning more than what I earned from my corporate job. So, again, affiliate marketing, I do it online, no? Nag-ehente ako, nag-MLM, um, nag-ano ako, uh, crispy pata store, uh, t-shirt business, no? Um, Nag-e-commerce na ako, no? Nang t-shirt, no? And, yun, yeah, from there, natuto ako. Natuto ako affiliate marketing. Ngayon, ginagawa ko na yun. Consultant ako for marketing for Facebook for specifically Facebook ads, yung mga digital courses, no? yung mga clients ako na tinutulungan to create their digital courses, their online courses, and sell it, no? and have a marketing plan, launch plan, kung paano mo i-launch. So, yung ganun yung mag, from there, yung mga experiences ko nung ginawa ko siya as parang consultancy, so yun yung mga additional income ko rin. And, yes, of course, e-commerce, no? yun yung medyo core business ko ngayon sa so, about e-commerce. No? I have three stores na Three to, three to four stores, pero hindi ako Lazada store. So, nagbibenta ako online sa e-commerce. And of course, ito, yung mga digital something, digital products din. So, yun yung mga ginagawa natin. Okay? So, marami guys, marami options. So, may mga habi, habi ko nga sa inyo, magaling siya magsulat. May kaibigan ako magaling magsulat. Earn six to seven digits in peso. No? Clients niya from US, gumagawa ng mga sales letter, sales copy, iba freelancing naman, no? Virtual assistant. So, Maraming guys options to earn. Hindi po, pero ito sinasabi ko sa inyo, may gagawin po kayo. Siguro nababalitaan nyo yung mga, yung mga trending ngayon ng mga investments no, na walang gagawin. Hindi po totoo yun. Eh. Kailangan may gawin po kayo in, 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 in a business, no? inside the sales, na kailangan may sakripisyo kayo na may gagawin kayo. Pag wait and earn lang po, mahirap po yun. Tapos ganun kalaki na 20 to 50% return, mahirap po yun. Okay? Yan. So, sige, magsagot tayo ng ibang questions. Again, guys, thank you for listening. So, magsagotin kayo yung mga ibang questions nyo. Mag-scroll down ako. If you have questions, type nyo lang yan sa... And if you have any suggestions then or kung ano yung mga side hustles na alam nyo para mabasa rin ng mga nanonood na classmates nyo or yung mga kasama natin ngayon dito. Kung ano yung sideline na ginagawa nyo ngayon, yung mga side hustles nyo. Pwede nyo pakitype po dyan sa comment section. And of course, do a heart sign and... Of course, share this video.
Philippines. Marami pa tayong ma-bless sa mga kaibigan nyo, especially for OFW. And sabi ko, kakagaling ko lang sa Macau kahapon, no, kaninang umaga, no, kakawi ko lang. And ang dami pong OFW doon, and nakakalungkot lang din talaga na, ay, minsan maliit lang din talaga sa London nila, but tinitis nila because, because yun nga, kailangan nila talaga ng ano. And um, by... Kaya na-inspire ako sa topic na to is para ma-inspire din sila na may mga options naman po na na you could earn income being with your family, you know, being with your, uh, kumbaga, nandito ka sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, sige, basahin natin ibang questions. Coach, uh, instead, uh, si Ray sabi niya, natakpan yung ano ko, no, mukha ko. So, basahin na lang. Ok naman po yung work ko, malaki sweldo. I stayed in the company for 10 years. Lately, hindi na ako masaya sa work ko. May gusto kong business and manage my own time. Want, I want to retire early and have financial freedom. I'm getting bored and I want to quit. I'm, I'm still building my emergency fund and I already have insurance. Do you think I can quit two years from now? I'm still learning e-com and not, I'm not certain from na magiging successful ako na dami ko lang siguro ng worry. Please advise. Also, ako first, yeah, you have to build your... um uh, emergency fund. So, if you have yeah, may mga dependents ka siguro at least one year of emergency fund pag wala kang dependent at least six months lang, no? And um, sabi mo you can quit in two years. Depende sa yan, bro. Depende sa yan, sir, no? So, um, siguro I suggest for those two years, ipon ka na mag-ipon, tapos build your emergency fund as soon as possible and start a business. Sabi ko nga yung ginawa ko sa'yo, hindi agad ako nag-quit, no? So, meron akong, kumbaga may nabuild na talaga akong source of income outside my corporate bago ako nag-quit talaga. Para ganun ka, kumbaga ganun ako kasigurista that time. No? Hindi ako nag-quit agad-agad from my work. No? So, yun yung advice ko sa'yo. And uh, sabi dito ni Marinette naman, if I if I will buy stocks, ano marirecommend mong company na mag-send ng na mag mamanid uh, na, do na yung may regular cash dividend. Siguro yung mga regular cash dividend, yung, hindi ko po maintindihan yung tanong nyo na isa. Uh, I, you don't need to sell right away. Yun nga, yung mga big companies that give uh, good dividends, no, uh, PLDT, of course, Globe, no, yung mga Ayala, they good, MPI, Metro Pacific, meral ko. So, those companies, they give good dividends. Uh, kailangan ko po ba mag-give give up po ang um, work para makapag-business. Hindi. Ako po, nag-start ako mag-business kahit nag-work ako. Again, you have to do hustling talaga. So, sabi ko nga, your 8 to 5 job will make make a career out of you and your 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. is your for your fortune, for your own. No? So, ganun ginagawa ako after uwian. So, so imbis na ako mag umuwi sa bahay, mag nanonood ng teleserye. So, naghahanap ako ng business opportunities, naghahanap ako ng way to earn Nagahanap ako ng way para to learn. It's either nag, meron akong business, uh, nag, nag-aaral ako ng business noon or nag, ano, ako na, nag-aaral ako ng mga seminar. Nagbabasa akong libro. So, para mas matuto pa ako. Ganun ginagawa ko po. So, opportunities won't happen. Yes, tama po yun. So, what is MLM? Multi-level marketing po. Yung mga networking po yan. Again, be cautious lang sa mga legit po tayo na MLM. And again, sabi ko nga, you should really love your product at the first place. Hindi dahil maganda lang yung compensation. Hindi, lang, hindi dahil na hype ka lang. Hindi dahil nakita mo na maganda yung coaching ng upline mo. Hindi po ganun. So, ako, inadjust, sasuggest ko nga, dapat user ka rin ng product mo. Okay? Hello, Miss Elena. Yan. Uh, sabi ni Nidsu, Sir, ako, nasa stage ako ng life ko kung saan I gave up for an MLM business. Gave up my job for an MLM business. Sad to say, hindi naging successful. I really want to be an entrepreneur. Just don't know what a business I will start. Any advice, po, sir? I, I really don't, don't want to go to eight-hour job. So, ako, of course, um, Depende yan eh. Kasi kung, kung meron ka namang, uh, may sumusuporta naman sa'yo, you could start, di ba? Try business na gusto mo, no? And again, sabi ko nga sa'yo, you will never know until uh, hindi mo siya gawin. And there's a quote nga na uh, it's more painful yung pain of regret than the f- 
pain of failure. So, mas maganda pa yung mag-fail ka na try mo siya, nalaman mo. Di ba? Yung mga torpe nga, di ba? Minsan ganun, di ba? Di try mo para malaman mo. Hindi mo, hindi yung paggawin mo sa bahay, iisipin mo pa next week, iisipin mo pa what if. Di ba? Try mo na. So, yun nga, you have to know, paano malaman, you have to try. So, sabi mo, you don't want to go back to your ATAR job. Eh, paano po kung walang sumusuporta sa'yo? You have to go back and earn some money again. And then from there, you try businesses. No, You can risk, no? Uh, instead of you, gastos ka sa mga gadgets, kung saan-saan sa kagawang gumagastos, you could start small businesses para mas madali mo ma-hit kung anong business yung mag-work para sa'yo. Kung anong, of course, again, sabi ko nga, you have to do it strategically and intelligently. Hindi yung try ka lang ng hit ka lang ng hit ng mga kung ano ng negosyo. You have to do it. You have to be selective. Again, because you have limited time, you want to keep your job as soon as possible. Yun ang objective mo, di ba? And of course, you have limited resources then So, dapat intelligent din yung pag-try mo ng mga businesses. So, ako yung sinasuggest ko, again, if you have uh, parents pa to support you, you could start kahit di ka na bumalik. But again, if you have, if you have, kung wala nagpapakain sa'yo, oh, wala nagpapatira sa'yo, wala kang titiran, you have to go back to your job. And from there, ano muna? Sakripisyo muna. Sakripisyo muna talaga. Sabi ni Jing, Hi sir, paano po mag-e-commerce? Uh, we have a online course. Kami ni Bong Bibi, my partner, e-com masterclass Philippines. No? So we're running an online program. We do conduct monthly webinars there, monthly live webinars. Tapos pag yung, sa mga advanced students namin, minimit namin sila. Uh, e-commerce to yung partner ko si Bong BB. So 50 employees, 500, 600,000 a day, almost sales niya. So ako, mas malito ko doon kasi I have 10 employees lang ako. I just started November no, last year. Siya, mga two years na siya sa e-commerce. So, we have a program, a school for e-commerce, those who want to start e-commerce. So, message nyo lang ako sa page na to or message nyo ako sa personal page ko para masagot ko kung ano yung program na yun. Okay? And siguro one of these days then, we'll talk about e-commerce. Okay? Siguro next week or next next week, we'll start, we'll um, brief you what's e-commerce, how to do a business out of it. Okay, so ngayon muna yung topic natin is a different, magkaiba-iba. Kasi ako, I also have other businesses. I earn affiliate from affiliate marketing. I earn from my blog. Uh, I have physical brick mortar t-shirt businesses. Ganun. So iba-iba. Okay, so Coach, have you may kilala ka buy and sell ng coach? Eh? Paano ang mag- mga commission? Kasi minsan may nagpapanap. Uh, 5K to 10K commission. So, yun, nagbabayan sila siya. Hanap siya ng mga murang kotse, babarating niya, good deal no, sa mga magbibenta. And from there, papailamos lang no, or palinis lang and then flip. So, minsan talaga, may, medyo may, may, mahirap mag-flip. But pag ano, okay naman. So, again, paano mag... Uh, message nyo lang ako, paano mag-start sa e-commerce? Message nyo lang po ako sa page nito mamaya pagtapos natin. Bibigyan ko kayong free training video course about e-commerce and free e-book about e-commerce, no? Yan. Message nyo lang po ako, okay? Or may reply ko yung comment nyo mamaya. Yan. So, ang dami, ang dami. Okay? So, okay. So, ito may tanong dito. Anong recommend nyo site na may copy reading or copywriting? Ano, syempre, you, you have to, ano, you have to train yourself muna na for copywriting, no? And, sige, message mo ako. I have courses about copywriting na pwede ko i-refer sa'yo. But for, of course, if, you, if you're good into copywriting na, yung, yung mga Fiverr, yung mga Upwork, no? So, pwede kayo mag-build ng, uh, pwede nyo i-benta yung mga services nyo online. Uh, Marites, ano po ba e-commerce? E-commerce yung trend ngayon. Sino pa pinakamayaman ngayon, di ba? Si Jeff Bezos of Amazon. Parang ganun po. Lazada, Shopee, you're, you're, you will create an online store. no? So, bibenta ka ron, no? using Facebook ads, using social media marketing. And then from there, no? ship mo sa customer mo, sa Philippines or pwede international. Then earn from it. So, that's e-commerce po. Alam po magandang negosyo, sabi ni Nelly. So, i-hide ko lang ulit yung question niya. Malaki, no? Nagtitindi ako ng pamerienda sa tapat ng bahay namin tulad ng fishball, kick yung kwek-kwek, pero hindi naman ganun kalaki ang kita. Any suggestion po, maroon din ako mag-bake, pero di ganun ka- karami ang alam ko. Ilan ang 
Ilan lang po alam ko sa big senior na ako pero gusto ko rin kumita kasi may mga panggas din sa bahay at pambili ng maintenance sa gumot. So ako, I, I would just po, ma'am, no? Um, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Ang advice ko po is, yeah, tuloy nyo lang yon. Maybe you could hire a, a helper to, to run your uh, yung mga fishball, kikya. And then for yung spare time nyo po, ako, advice ko po, yung spare time nyo na mapifree kasi kunyari yung yung uh, fishball nyo, yung quick-quick nyo na negosyo, no? Kung lagi kayo naka-focus doon, wala na kayong magagawang iba po, di ba? And of course, sabi nyo nga po, senior po, so baka limited lang talaga yung time na na baka mapumapagod din kayo. So, what I suggest is you hire someone na magtutulong sa'yo para i-train mo siya. Tapos, from there, you create uh, more time, free time po para, para sa inyong mag-aaral no? sa YouTube, no? baking, or try, dif- try other things. Sabi nyo nga po, Maroon din kayo mag-baking on te. Baka po, mas madali na sa inyo mag-try ng mga good delic- the good cakes ng mga masarap. Then from there, you can sell additional inventory, additional item no dun sa sa stand mo. So aside from fishball, meron ka na. Meron ka na. Aside from fishball and kikya, meron ka na mga ibang produkto. So after din nun, no pwede ka mag-sell sa Facebook. Kahit sa wall nyo lang po, kahit sa Facebook profile nyo na i-post nyo lang sa mga friends nyo. I'm sure sa mga Facebook group na yan, may mga bibili at bibili. No? So again, we have to try. No, we have to try. Okay? Okay, so I have a day job, sabi ni John. Uh, digital marketing agency and also financial literacy advocate. Advocate, no? And side hassle ko is financial advisory insurance company, tapos firing ako start my e-commerce business. Yan. Okay, sir. Uh, that's a good, that's a good, ano, pwede kang mag-ihente ng mga financial, uh, mga investment instruments, pwede ka rin mag, uh, ihente ng mga kotse, ay, basta, ano, kung saan sa mo gusto itry, basta giving you additional 1,000 a month. Ako, yun lang aim ko before, eh. Gusto ko lang ma-free yung, yung amortization ko sa bahay nun. So, um, nag-side hustle ako because of that but sabi ko nga sa inyo, pag nasimulan nyo na pag na-hit nyo yung side hustle na talaga magiging successful kayo, it could no, replace your day job and from there no, mag-scale ka na so yun importante, you have to try Sir, bago, bagong tayo yung sizzling na kainan, ano po ba advice nyo para mag-pick up yung store ko ng customer? Uh, you have to, syempre, of course, the product, sana, dapat masarap yan. Facebook page. And then, you could run some basic Facebook ads. So, yung mga suggestion ko. Ano pong mutual fund ang marirecommend nyo? Uh, Again, try nyo yung, try nyo po panoorin yung previous episode natin last week. So, nandito lang sa page ko po. No, sa mga hindi pa pala nakakalike ng page ko, please do follow and like my page para marami pa kayong content na makuha for free sa akin. And for mutual fund na recommendation ko, please see the, yung my, my previous episode last week. So, yeah, I think it's Feel Equity. Feel Equity, Ether Gaming, madami po eh, First Metro. Classmate, anong third tell ko in terms of stock? So, ako wala eh. Wala bro, hindi, hindi kayaan eh. I, I, what I do is, I don't expeculate masyado sa stocks. No? Na, na medyo nakaka-stress yan. So, what I do is, I do yung mind, uh, yung, I have three stocks na maliliit growth stocks na in-expect ko mag-tandagger. Tapos, I have mutual funds. No? So, yun lang ako yun talaga ako. Sinisimplify ko lang yung pag-invest ko sa stock market. Okay? But speculating about the third deal ko, wala. <laughs> ako, for me, I would rather focus on my business, rather focus on other things to to generate more cash flow, to generate more income. Kasi mahirap yung mag-speculate eh. Hindi mo kasi makontrol yung isip ng ibang tao din pagdating sa mga, yung mga kung sino ba yung magiging third deal ko and everything, which is ISM yata, di ba? So, Sa, so, paano mag-stress? Uh, sa, paano mag-stock? Saan po pwede mag-invest? So, last, uh, ano lang po, browse nyo lang po yung page ko last week. Panoorin nyo lang po yung Facebook Live natin. Ayan, open muna yung stock broker. So, ano po ang benefit ng Tool Rich Club? May joining fee? Yes, uh, we have 
uh, subscription fee, 497, of course. And ako, I'm a product of Troll Rich Club. So, kasi wala, ang hirap kasi mag-aral, di ba, ng, na, sa mga iba. Mahirap mag-aral about financial education. Wala nagtuturo niyan. Kung iba nagtuturo, tapos bibentahan ka naman. So, what I love about uh, True Village Club is the sale education. No? The, the, you join, you subscribe is because I'm not, hindi ko sinasabi ito dahil part ako ng True Village Club. I, sinasabi ko ito is because I'm a product of it. Eh. Diba? I'm a product. That's why I joined True Village Club is because yun nga, yung, yung team na yun sa so marketing ako, nag-join ako because I love the advocacy niya. Na I'm a product of it. No? So, Nag-join ako to learn about financial literacy, yung mga teachings ni Brother Bo. So, yun yung nag-change na pag-iisip ko sa mindset ko. And for me, uh, yung subscription fee na 497, magkano ba yung Netflix mo? Magkano yung Starbucks mo? Magkano yung ginagasas mo kung saan-saan? Ito nga, 497, parang sini lang yan, binabayaran mo. Sa tututo ka ba? Natututo ka ba about different options? how to increase your income, how to manage your money, how to invest in the stock market and everything. So, marami pong benefits po sa Trudage Club. It's not, hindi lang po siya stock market. No, marami pa po. Yung mga financial talks ni Brother Boy, yung mga libro niya, yung, uh, tapos pag one year ka na, may insurance pang kasama yun. So, marami pong benefits. No? So, ako, if you're, if you have spare and if you really want to grow financially and spiritually at the same time because brother Bo siya yung founder noon so hindi lang puro pera doon diba? so you can try through the rich club and at, ano naman yun eh kung ayaw mo you can cancel anytime wala namang risk yun para sa'yo gumagasos nga tayo sa mga cellphone na walang kwenta diba I mean sa mga sine diba and this these things no yung nakakalungkot eh sa mga Pilipino if you invite people no, sa mga kaibigan ko na in-invite mo sila mag seminar tinatamad sila, walang pera. Pero pag showing na yung Avengers, pag may bagong cellphone, may pang milty, di ba? Tapos you see them complain about their life, di ba? So, makikita mo naman dun. Eh. So, uh, how long yung e-commerce schooling para makisama sa skate? Ano po yung online po yun? It's your own time we recorded everything, tapos yung live naman nun, may replay, eh, kung hindi kayo makaka-attend ng monthly webinars namin. But yung, yung pinaka-core modules, naka-record na po yun. Sabi ni Ronelio, okay, so, dyan pa ba kayo? So, ano lang, uh, type na yung mga questions na sagutin ko sa isa yan. Tapos, uh, again, if you're listening, ano lang, pag may nagustuhan kayo, sinabi ko, heart sign lang dyan, para makita ko na nakikinig kayo, kasi camera lang nakikita ko dito in your comments. Uh, at the same time, please share nila in the video. And if you're not, um, hindi ka pa nakalike din sa page natin, i-like nyo na lang. So, sabi na rin Ronelo, hi coach, ano maganda wing ko, may pinasukan akong business na galing sa US, kakasir kang dito sa Pilipinas. Nung June 18, para sa health, medyo may kamahalan kasi ano pong gagawin ko para makilala siya. So, it's a marketing question, no? Um, yeah, you give out content, you give value, and of course, dapat, dapat, uh, ma-assure mo na very good product siya. Tapos kung may kamahalan siya, sino ba target market mo dyan? Kasi ako, for me, kahit mahal siya, no, if it's very, very good, if it's a very, very good product, kaagatin pa rin niya ng mga middle class na Pilipino or kahit nga, kahit sino siguro ng Pilipino, kaagatin kung talaga magaling yung produkto mo. So, spend more time on brand, spend more time and money on branding. No, you, you can run Facebook ads, Facebook campaigns, Instagram, and everything. So, it's a different topic. So, just to just to give you mga overview lang, spend money, time on branding, give valuable content. Ano ba yung sinusolusyonan mo ng product mo? Ano ba yung sinusolusyonan niya? Um, people buy emotionally, not Diba? Not logically, no? So, you have to really, you have to show them the benefit. Kung baga, kung baga the solution. I mean, the, ano ba yung sinosolve ng product mo? So, again, brand awareness. Ano po, sir, ano po maganda? Forex, in your own opinion, Bitcoin stock trading, pros and cons. That yan, ano eh, risky lahat yan eh. Forex, Bitcoin, Yan, mas, mas risky yon Yung stock trading, hindi ganun ka-risky. I mean, risky siya, pero it's less riskier 
than Forex and Bitcoin. Forex is traded 25-7, I think. And Bitcoin, parang ganun din. Um, very risky yan. So, yun. Ano maganda, hindi natin masabi kung saan ka, pare-pareho lang halos lang po sila. No? So, it's all about trading. Meaning, you buy and sell very in very short time. So, kahit ano pang saka mag-focus dyan, it's still trading. You have to know what you're doing. So, sabi ni Harty, is it okay po ba to switch from stock market to mutual funds? What's, bakit po kayo mag-shift? Depende po sa reason nyo. Kung wala na po kayong time na bumili or something, okay lang po. Pero depende po sa reason nyo. Yan. Okay, tama po yan, no? Nelson, e-commerce also like digital marketing? Ay, hindi po. Uh, I mean, digital business, but digital marketing kasi, di ba, yung mga social media, Facebook, Instagram, and everything. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung highs, halos yun yung ano niya. E-commerce kasi it's more, uh, ano siya eh, more of, yun niya, uh, selling products online, physical, digital. Yan, that's e-commerce. Okay? So, may questions pa ba kayo? Just type nyo lang. Sagutin ko lang dito yung mga ibang nag-message, no? Um, how to earn money from Lenra. So, sinagot na natin sa episode na to, no? So, sabi dito ni Jill, what are the best platform for earning passive income with typically low startup? Uh, banks. Savings. No, wala pong... Hinakikita ko. No, wala pong yung passive income, low startup platform. Siguro na kitang passive income, yung mga dividends from stocks, from real, rental properties, which is malaki yung capital, di ba? Siguro, yan, stock market, ano, mga stock market, uh, mga, uh, stocks ng mga blue chip companies, they give passive income, uh, time deposits, bonds, no? Bonds, pwede yun po yun. Usually, banks, they release 5,000 mga bonds na nagbibigay ng 5 to 6% a month, uh, uh, a year, sorry. So, yung mga, yung, tas yung mga big companies naman, they give dividends, cash dividends, Meralco, PLDT, Ayala, so yan, SM. So, those, yun yung sabot ko dyan. And, how do you start selling online one product? So, namely, cows, milk, soap. Sabi ni Sean from Kainta. So, how do you start selling? You build a brand, create a Facebook page, no? Create a maganda may story, eh? um, Pwede ka mag-create uh, ng uh, brand awareness campaign, Facebook ads, Instagram, no? Anong platforms ka magbibenta? You can sell in Lazada, Shopee, on online store mo, Shopify. So, in yung quick question, uh, is it advisable to borrow money from banks to start a business? Um, pwede naman, but if you really, really have kumbaga, a nice uh, strategic plan or sa business uh, plan, no? Kasi kung actually maganda rin, di ba yung mga, mga, mga banko ngayon, they, they ask for mga business plan kung maglo-loan kayo. Kung makikita man nila yun, eh, kung, maging, kung medyo feasible naman yung business nyo. But if, again, if it's Kung kaya naman, na bootstrap muna. Start small, no? Have, have, it's either, kasi maraming ways to, to, to ask for capital, eh, di ba? It's either, yun nga, bootstrap ka muna, tipid-tipid ka muna, nung sarili mong pera, or, second, is, baka may pera si parents, mama, papa, na walang interest, or kapatid mo, na pwede mong hiramin, Walang risk yun. Kasi yung mga banko, di ba, may interest na yan. So, medyo risky na yan. So, pangatlo, maybe you could, you have friends na may capital and then you form a partnership. So, sila yung mga, uh, sila yung mga capitalists, ikaw yung industrial, ikaw, you give up equity nga lang. So, parang for me, last resort na kasi yung mga banks to start a business eh. So, yun lang yung sa akin. Sabi niya, explain how to invest ETF. Sabi ni Be, recommend good ETF to invest for long term. ETF na alam mo rito is first metro lang no, sa Pilipinas. But uh, kung ETF lang din, kasi ano pong ETF po ba? Kasi ETF natin dito yung PSE eh, di ba? So, PSEI, the index, no? 
exchange traded funds no so sa America kasi yun yung uso mga ETF ng gold ETF ng bit eh, wala pa pala wala pa pala ETF ng Bitcoin so ETF ng gold silver oil ganyan sa Pilipinas pa kasi yung index pa lang po so kung mag ETF kayo sa Philippines yung ano lang yun na lang siguro if if yung index na lang is yung PD, yung mga stock mutual fund na index fund pwede na rin yun Sir, si Jeng, sabi niya, Sir, saan po ba mag-invest? Maganda, mag-invest stock market or retail treasury bond? Again, uh, please do watch yung previous episode natin no, last week about investing. So, tinagot ko po dyan kung ano yung... Depende po kasi sa purpose nyo eh. Kung long term po yan, I would suggest stock market. No? In, tapos depende rin. Kung, kasi kung retire ka na, you cannot, in, you cannot wait for long term retail treasury bond na. So, depende po yan sa objective ng pag invest nyo. Sabi dito ni Harty, hindi na kasi ako nasikas yung stock market. When I watch your video na mas okay pala yung mutual funds, hindi ko hindi ko matutukan yung stock market. Kapaisip ako. Yung start ko sa stock market, uh, retain ko ba yun, then open na lang ako mutual fund or stock ko na stock market. So, it depende po. If it's, if it's okay for you to transfer stock market to mutual funds, okay lang din po yun. So, yun nga, pag less time ka na, medyo busy ka na, I would suggest a mutual fund. Tapos kung mga below 100,000 pa yung fund mo, mas baka mas maganda mutual fund talaga. Again, if you need guidance about mutual fund, you can message me here. Para iba na, ibang nanood sa atin last week, no? Na, natulungan na natin ngayon yan. Last, for the past week, pina natin sila to start a mutual fund investment. Hello po, good evening, watching from Taiwan. Hi po, saluto po ako sa mga FWs na nanonood ngayon para po mag-start mag-invest sa mutual fund. Message nyo lang po ako or watch the video last week. Dito lang po sa page ko, sa may videos. Just click nyo lang yung videos, ano po yung mga episodes natin na pwede nyo balik-balikan. Ah, uh, yun. Hi, Christine. Finally saw the face behind the name who always send me email as perks of TRC member. <laughs> and thank you, ma'am. So, we want to do it weekly para we want to bless and you know teach kung ano pa yung mga topics na gusto niyo matutunan in the future we could invite people here to discuss about uh, anything about entrepreneurship e-commerce and everything sir may time ba nag-fail ka sa business marami po ako nag-fail na business no uh, yung una accounting firm namin nagsara din um yung crispy pata store wala na ako doon uh, yung t-shirt store din nag-fail din yon um, marami po, marami po akong nag-fail na business. I lost money. Of course, yung pride mo din. At kumbaga, masakit din talaga. But at the end of the day, uh, sabi ko nga sa'yo, mas masakit yung in, yung iniisip mo, what if eh, kung hindi mo trinay. Mas masakit yun kesa yung fear of fail, yung failure mismo pala. So, yung failure kasi, mag, ilang ano lang, mag-move on ka, Kumbaga, kung nalugo yung pera mo, tuition fee mo yun, natuto ka doon. No? Uh, parang ganun lang din. So, ako mas gusto, mas okay yung failure kesa sa, re- sa regret, di ba? So, move on lang. Tapos start a business. You have to, sabi nga ni Dwayne Wade, di ba? Uh, fall seven times, stand up eight. Okay? Again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, you just need one, one hit. No, kahit 10 failures lang, one hit, one one time big time hit, it will change your life. Parang sa e-commerce, no? Marami kami tinetest na products, kahit one product lang could make you a millionaire. Ganun din sa stock trading, no? I have nag-aaral ako ng stock trading. 10 stocks, kahit two stocks lang doon, three stocks lang doon. No. It could change your portfolio. It could change your life then. So Yun lang eh. Um, you just have to be right one time. Sabi nga ni Mark Cuban. Okay? Thank you, Miss Eileen. Thank you. Yan. TRC member si Miss Eileen. And yun lang naman eh. Sa mga TRC, TRC members, you could try it out. And especially, um, we're planning to relaunch no, to the Rich Club 3.0. So, abangan nyo yan. No? So, this July. Bernard, best business for an OFW, depende po. So, you could you could have a partner here na kumag-anak nyo, start a franchise business, a food business, depende po talaga eh. So, ang, ang sa akin lang for OFW, 
ang advice ko lang money money advice ko lang is you use kung nagpapadala ka man sa Pilipinas dapat meron kang tinatabi para sa iyo tapos uh, tinutulungan mo sila mag-budget you have you should be involved no especially kung ikaw yung nagpapaaral ikaw yung nagpapakain sa kanila you should be involved in their budgeting tapos you have to keep something for yourself no kasi ang tendency nga kasi pag pinadalan mo dito di ba nauubos no tapos you could start ka start building your emergency fund mutual fund stock market and again from there start ka ng build ng small capital for other businesses no para maggrow na yung pera mo makauwi ka na dito so what's the best business depende po again you can sinabi ko nga you can have a franchise business here um pwede kang mag uh, una sa kung ayaw mo kung wala kang mapagkakatiwalaan dito kasi pwede ka ring mag e-commerce business eh kung may OFW ka, yung tinuturo namin, may mga estudyante kami ng OFW na nag e commerce may mga partners sila dito na nagpo-fulfill, sila yung nagmamanage doon. Pwede yung mga ganung setup or um, again, you could have maybe a freelancer, no? pwede ka mag-MLM, di ba yung mga MLM meron naman sa mga OFW companies. Again, depende rin sa iyo yan, no? Yan, so hearty, yan. Thank you, thank you from Dubai. Uh, sige, message mo lang ako, hearty, if you want to, if you want to open a mutual fund account then. Okay? So, sabi ni Nancy, uh, kasi recently lang ako nag mutual fund at UITF. Yes, pwede naman yun, ma'am. So, pag nakahit nyo na yung 100,000, pwede rin yun. Diversification, no? So, iba't ibang investment vehicles. Kasi parang ano yan, eh, di ba? Kung ang goal mo, kunyari, makapunta sa Baguio or kung gusto mo maka 10 million, maraming pwede kang gawin. Kunyari, kung pupunta kang Baguio, marami kang pwede, pwede kang mag-bus, pwede kang mag-kotse, pwede kang mag-bike, pwede kang maglakad. So, maraming option to reach Baguio. So, ganun din. Pag if you have a financial goal, maraming options. It's either through stock market, savings, time deposit, Pwede ka rin mag-business. So, ganun lang naman yun. So, ang gagawin ni ma'am, sabi niya rito, may mutual fund siya, may stock market siya. So, gagawin niya, marami siyang diversification. So, marami siyang means to go to Baguio or to reach his destination. Parang ganun yung analogy po doon. So, sabi ni Ms. Lorna, napakarami po ng benefits ng TRC. Tapos, uh, nakita ko talaga ng TRC, di na ako umalis. Three years na rin ako. Wow! Wow! Congratulations, ma'am, for choosing yourself. And uh, very, ako kilala ko si Miss Lorna, no? very, uh, I, I, command, I commend this, ano, um, si ma'am Lorna. So, lagi po yan umaten sa mga Facebook Live natin, sa mga seminars natin, um, sa, sa, sa e-com, student ko rin po yan sa e-com masterclass. So, very, like, lagi po yan sa mga training natin. So, sobrang natutuwa po ako. At, uh, talagang satisfied po siya and talagang may nagbabago sa buhay po niya. Uh, paano po mag-member? Punta lang po kayo sa trudelichclub.com if you want to see yung mga benefits natin. And again, it's owned by Brother Bull Sanchez. No? So again, if uh, you, you could try it out for 30 days. Ano po opinion niya sa foreign stock trading investment by wealth mentors? Ay, hindi ko po alam yung, ano po ba yung wealth mentors na yan? Hindi ko po siya. Hi, John, no, from Kuwait. Kuwait. So, ang dami natin OFW. Thank you. Saan yung feel equity? Message nyo po ako, Miss Marinette. Ah, para po mag ko po kayo. Okay, so 10 o'clock, 1 hour na naman po. So, thank you guys for watching. No? Salamat, salamat sa mga nanonood dyan and ang dami natin na almost 100 din so thank you guys so next week we will we'll have a abangan nyo lang yung announcement ko so another financial or business topic natin next week so very soon we'll talk about e-commerce uh, franchising and everything and abangan natin yan no? next week and Kung para makuha mo yung announcement na yun, b- b- make sure na makapag-subscribe mo sa page ko like yung page ko Sa mga gusto mag-invest sa stock market, sa mutual fund pala, uh, message nyo lang yung page ko ulit dito sa page na to. And message nyo lang. And sa mga mag- gusto mag-e-commerce din, gusto nyo excited na kayo, kasi i-discuss ko rin naman to next week. More info about e-commerce or next next week. No? Um, or kung gusto nyo mag-start, 
again, meron kaming course dyan, meron kaming school for e-commerce business, message nyo lang din ako sa page na to. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you. So, make sure abangan nyo. So, nagme-message ako sa messenger nyo, di ba, sa mga nanonood ngayon. So, para makapag-subscribe kayo doon, uh, i-message nyo lang ako sa page ko uh, saying thank you, no? Dito sa page ko na to, para maka-subscribe kayo doon sa sa in case na may mga announcements ako, maka-receive kayo. Okay? So, sa mga hindi pa rin, nag email naman ako sa mga nakasubscribe sa email ko. Okay? So, thank you guys. Uh, Diguro, in the future, we could ask some guest speakers, mga successful, para marami pa tayong ma- ma-share sa inyo. Marami pa kayo. Again, this is for free, no? Wala pong ano to. You could ask any questions, no? Pag may mga clarifications pa kayo, wag po kayong... Again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, the pain of uh, regret is greater, no? Than the pain of failure. So, kung di kong magkayo sagotin, at least nag-try kayo. So, mag- <laughs> pero sasagotin ko naman po kayo. Basta i-message nyo lang ako. Again, huwag kayong matakot mag-message, magtanong. Okay lang po yan, no? Wag iba po natatakot kasi wala silang alam. Wala na, ano sila, na baka, baka nakakatawa yung question nila. Okay lang po yun. It's better, no, to ask than na uh, forever kang hindi mo malalaman yung sagot. Di ba? So, tanong lang kayo. Thank you guys. I hope may natutunan kayo. Again, uh, see you again next week. Please like my page. Again, if you have questions, mutual fund is e-commerce. Just message me, entrepreneurship. And, ano lang, um, please share this video. Yun lang. Yung pabor lang nangyong ko sa inyo. Share this video para mas marami pa tayo mabless. Especially if you have friends na OFW, i-message nyo sa kanila yung video na to. And kung gusto nyo panoorin, I think we have 10 to 15 videos na nagawa na ganito, na training. Nasa, fa- nasa video section pa lang ng page na to. So panoorin nyo lang siya. Marami pong content doon. For free po yan, no? Okay? So thank you guys. Happy weekend sa inyo. Bye-bye. God bless.